Behind me is a dynamic mechanical analyzer, and we're going to use it today to demonstrate some of the hydrogel materials that we've developed in our labs for tissue engineering applications. So we're interested in developing polymeric hydrogel scaffolds to be mixed with cells and to be used in vivo to regenerate tissue. Um, and we're interested in making hydrogels that closely mimic the chemical, biological, and morphological properties of the natural extracellular matrix. So the first material that we're going to show today is a block copolymer cross-linked hydrogel. So uh, block copolymer micelle cross-linked hydrogel. So these are acrylamide gels, but instead of a traditional cross-linker, they're cross-linked by a, a block copolymer micelle, which can reversibly deform, and it makes the hydrogels very elastomeric. You can see here that they can swell 10 to 20 times in water. And when the hydrated hydrogel is placed on the instrument here, I'm going to show you its elastomeric properties. We're going to run a tensile test where we're going to pull the material like this, and you can see how much it can stretch. So the hydrogel is clamped in here, and the instrument is pulling it vertically, and it records the percent strain and plots the stress. And we can see that the material can stretch to 250% strain. So the other material that I want to show you today is an elastin mimetic hybrid hydrogel. These hydrogels mimic the structure of natural elastin because um, the polymers have alternating segments of a flexible synthetic polymer and a peptide that's used for cross-linking. So as you can see, these hydrogels are very strong, but they can also absorb water and they can be compressed and return to their original shape. And the synthesis of these materials is very modular, and that allows us to replace the synthetic polymer and peptide domains easily with whatever structures fit our applications. So recently, we've replaced the peptide domains with a cell adhesive peptide, which allows cells to attach and proliferate on the hydrogels, which is, of course, useful in tissue engineering applications. And we've also done some work with forming multi-block copolymer micelles with polyacrylic acid and polystyrene blocks. And these form very monodispersed particles in aqueous solution, which we could potentially use for delivery applications. I'm Sarah Grieshaber, and I'm a graduate student in the John Kick Labs at the University of Delaware.